These are all the materials we're going to be using today to make this 500 mesh classifier. Uh, what we have is a couple of jar, mason jar uh, bands. Um, I have a pint mason jar and an 8 ounce mason jar I took them off of. Uh, 500 mesh stainless steel screen and a pen to mark up the mesh. A couple of mixer sticks for the 5 minute epoxy. A sheet of cardboard to mix the epoxy on and some scissors to cut the screen. So let's get started with step one which we're going to mark the uh, screen for cutting. Alright so here's the screen and I'm just going to take a mason jar lid and place it on the top of it. And then we're going to take the pen the and mark around the edges so we know where to cut. So it gives us a nice circle there. And then we'll start cutting it. Oh, here's the screen that we're going to cut. The circle marked on it. I'm just going to cut on the outside edges of this line. Gives us a nice little uh, screen that'll fit right on top of the bands that we can glue on. And that's what we're going to do next. So the important thing with mixing epoxy is always to get a one-to-one -one ratio on it. So we'll just squirt out some here and get ready to mix it up. It's important that you mix it very thoroughly. So I always mix it for about a minute. This stuff starts to harden in about five minutes. And then it takes about 24 hours to get a full strength cure out of it, but you don't need to wait that long if you're going to use it for this kind of application. Alright, so I'm just going to run it around the uh, rim of the uh, bands here. Doesn't need to be perfect, so. Just make sure there's a good coat around it. We're just going to take the uh, screen, throw it on there, and throw the two bands together, and let it set. Oh, 
All right, so after the epoxy is set up pretty good, you can see it's uh, just a little tacky to the touch here. It's only been about five minutes. But um, the, you, what you want to do is just go around the edge of the uh, screen uh, where the two jar lids meet and just make sure that you have a good um, connection between the two. And uh, like right there, I might go back with some epoxy and uh, fill this little gap in. Because you don't want the material coming out of the jar, going through the crack on the edge of the screen and coming out the side of the jar of the lids. So I'm going to go ahead and mix up a little bit more epoxy and seal that up and then uh, let it set and then we're going to go try and use this. Alright, so that was a kind of a small failure, but uh, I'll fix it. Um, what I found is the glass jar doesn't seal very well against the inside of these uh, bands because there's, it's not, doesn't have the uh, lid inner piece that the jar normally has. So what I'm going to do is just take some um, latex with silicone in it and just make a little tiny um, coating on the inside of both sides of this lid so that when you screw the jars together it makes a good uh, seal against this metal band and we'll try that and see if it works. So now I've added the uh, latex uh, to the inside of this lid on both sides. I tried to make the uh, application as smooth and even as possible so that when you screw the lid, the uh, jar on that it, um, it makes a nice seal around it and you don't have uneven areas where the aluminum powder will uh, seep out. So I'm going to cure this and give it a shot. And in the meantime, while that's going on, I'm going to make a, another lid out of um, maybe a 100 mesh, maybe a 200 mesh um, screen. I'll try those next. All right, so these are the Rev2 classifier lids. Uh, it's a 100 mesh, a 200 mesh, and a 500 mesh. I'm going to go try them out now and see how they work. <laughs> 